Stop spreading your energy and your focus and your attention all so, so thin. This is something that I've always had a really big problem with because there's always just so much that I want to do. I'm sure you've had times, usually at nighttime, where you're sitting in your bed, you're laying in bed, and you get this rush of energy, you get this rush of motivation where you're like, there's so much I want to do and I'm going to be able to do it. I know I can do it because I have the thoughts in my head so I know it's possible. I'm going to start doing it and you get out a pen and a pad and you start writing top to bottom everything that you want to do starting tomorrow, right? I'm going to start keeping my room clean, right? I'm going to start doing a little bit of cleaning every single day so that it's never messy and I always have a clean area so that I can feel clean inside and feel organized and stuff. And I'm also going to start working, doing my workout routine every single day and I'm going to start sticking to my diet. And I'm also going to start my little online business that I've been wanting to do for a long time. And also I'm going to do this and that and I'm going to stop wasting so much time on Instagram and Netflix and all these different things. It's just so many different things that you want to do and I know like I said I've had Tons of issues with this in the past and I've been working on it and I'm starting to see a little bit of progress so I want to share what I'm kind of doing to uh, combat this issue. I came to the conclusion that spreading my energy and my focus so so thin was almost a form of self-sabotage because I knew deep down that I was going to fail. I set such steep goals, so many things that I wanted to do and, and, and I made sure that they were super hard to continue to do especially with my current skill level and my current discipline level. I, it's pretty much like I was setting myself up to fail so that later on I could say, yeah, well, I'm just not ready for it. You set super steep and difficult goals and you set so many of them and you know deep down unconsciously that it's going to be nearly impossible to actually achieve all of them. You already know that by setting these steep and difficult goals and setting so many of them, you're just going to end up half-assing them, not doing them as well as you could have because, oh, I've got so many other things that I need to do, I need to get this done so I can move on to the next one. It's almost like you're doing them just to check them off your list as opposed to doing them to make sure you actually make meaningful progress in them. And a lot of the things that you're going to do aren't even the most important tasks or the most productive tasks, so you're almost just doing them to feel busy. That's a really, really sneaky form of self-sabotage and a lot of people are guilty of it including myself. The idea behind it is basically if I do more I'm gonna become more and that's such a basic way to look at it, it's such a basic perspective of, of the actual issue. The truth is with where you're at right now you can't actually do all of these things to the best of your ability without coming out on the other side with lackluster results to show for your efforts. You end up falling into this rut after a day or two of following whatever rules you've set for yourself and then you wonder why you feel so down and you feel so drained and you feel like your energy is all gone when just a day or two ago you were so motivated to get to it. And really, you're the one to blame for setting such unrealistic goals and setting so many of them. This is again, something that I've battled for years and the results and the progress that I'm starting to see are a result of me taking a genuine look at where my skill levels are, where my discipline levels are, and then identifying where I actually need to be placing my attention and my energy. So how do you know where you should actually place your energy? How do you know what activities you should really be doing right now and what you should maybe wait on? How do you set your priorities straight in a situation like this? This is a really hard question for me to answer because for everyone it's going to be different, but I'll do my best and to do that I'll just explain kind of what I've been doing for myself and hopefully you can get some value out of it. So what's working for me is basically I look at all the things that I want to do in each area of my life. So we can break it down to the mind, the body, and the soul. The reason I like to work off that basis is because I found when I feel fulfilled in each of those areas, that's when I feel the happiest. So set one main goal for each of those areas and then break that down into daily or weekly tasks that you can get done to bring you closer to your goal. So for example, for me, for my mind portion of it, I wanted to improve my mental health and particularly in relation to anxiety and mindfulness. So what are some things that I can do on a daily or weekly basis to bring me closer to that goal, to be able to help me in that area? So I thought of meditation, journaling, reading, taking walks, sometimes that I don't even have my phone, I make sure not to listen to anything, I just walk and think, or even just sitting in a room with nothing to do and just sitting there and thinking. Now that's a lot of different little tasks, but it's all geared towards the same goal and my intention in all of those tasks is to improve my mindfulness in order to be able to improve my anxiety. The same thing can go for your body goal, where you set a specific goal, whatever it is, and then you find different tasks and different changes you can make in your behavior that'll be geared towards that particular goal. And the soul can be a little bit tricky because what do you actually do to 
fulfill yourself within your soul. And for me, I've found that a lot of the times that'll come down to either relationships or your business. You choose something that feels truly important to you and then you create a goal for it. And then you pick some performance-based tasks that'll bring you closer to that goal. It's when you start working towards multiple mental health goals and multiple fitness goals and multiple spiritual goals. That's when your energy starts to feel like it's being drained and your attention's being pulled in too many different directions. Now don't get it confused with this. Of course, as you start achieving these different goals, you can start updating your goals while continuing the previous behaviors for your past goals, right? You don't have to to achieve this one goal and then once, you, once you've achieved it, you stop doing everything for it. Now that you've built those behaviors, you continue doing them and then add in more. For example, going back to my mental health goal of improving my anxiety through mindfulness, I've made a ton of progress in that area. So now my mind goal is to improve where I'm placing my attention. I'm pulling back from things like video games and binging Netflix and binging YouTube videos and scrolling so much on Instagram and stuff like that. I'm starting to identify where is the actual best place to be placing my attention while also continuing the other behaviors that I've built up like meditating consistently and journaling consistently because now those things aren't difficult for me to do anymore. Those things are pretty easy now. The, the difficult thing for me now is to, to stop wasting my time on all these other things. So I'm trying to improve that while still keeping my, my consistency in the, in the other areas. So as you continue to level up, things that used to be difficult for you are going to become easy for you. And that's when you start to add more to your plate. You don't start by adding everything onto your plate. That's a recipe for disaster. I promise you, I've done it far too many times. And the progress that I'm seeing by doing a little bit and by little bit, just slowly adding on, is way better than anything that I ever saw when just trying to do everything all at once. And like I said, spreading yourself too thin. So with that being said, I truly hope this helped you. And I'm gonna end off this video with a little bit of YouTuber talk. You know how it goes. If this video did help you, please be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave a like. If you have any questions for me, be sure to leave a comment and I'm down to have a conversation about anything, even if it doesn't relate to this. Um, definitely down to have a conversation in the comment section below. And I really appreciate you watching the video. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.